Amen. We continue with our study. Amen. On the parable of the wheat and the tears. This is uh, the second video. Amen. We just want to read from Matthew 13. Amen. Matthew 13. We're going to read from verse 35. Okay, first, verse 34, sorry. All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable spake he not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which are spoken by the prophet, saying, I'll open my mouth in parables, I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tears of the field, See, uh, the disciples wanted to know who were the tears of the field. Amen. And uh, verse 37 says, He answered and said unto them, Ye that sow the good seed is the son of man, the field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tears are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. As if all the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. Amen. Amen. Friend, the Bible says, Amen. He that got an ear to hear, let him hear what God is saying. Amen. These parables were hidden mysteries. Amen. Because here in verse 35 in Matthew 13 it says, I will utter things. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Amen. In Revelation 13 uh, verse 8 we read that the Lamb of God was slain before the foundation of the world. Amen. In Job 38 we read that uh, God said to Job, where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth, when the morning stars sang together and the sons of God shouted for joy in it? Friends, something happened. That's why you find in Genesis chapter 1, it says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. Amen. Something happened, amen. Between Genesis 1, verse 1, and Genesis 1, verse 2. Genesis 1, verse 2, if you look it up, it's, it, it, it begins with the, with the word and. But verse 1 ends with a full stop. And then verse 2 starts with and. The earth was without form and void. Amen. Between verse 1, Genesis 1, verse 1, and Genesis 1, verse 2, something happened. That word and is a conjunction. It brings, it brings similar lines of thought together. Amen. But when Moses was shown by God, by revelation, by vision, amen, what happened in Genesis? What happened in the beginning? Amen. Moses wrote what he saw. And there's some things that he's seen that he put in symbol form. Amen. Amen. He put it in symbol form because being a prophet, Moses knew that in the end times, God would send an end time prophet to reveal the secrets, the hidden mysteries. Amen. Even Jesus said in Matthew 13, Amen, that I speak in parables. Amen. I speak in parables. Hallelujah. If verse 35 says, I'll open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Amen. Now I just wanted to stop and, 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 and think for a while, Amen. Pray, Amen. Why are you thinking? Because it's, 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 it's uh, by revelation that we, we, we can catch these things, amen. In, in Revelation 13 verse 8, it says, speaking of the Antichrist, amen. The Bible says that there's going to come a time in these last days that 
an antichrist is gonna is gonna rise. Amen. Let's read from verse one. And I looked upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up, up, up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns were ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. Amen. Blasphemy, speaking of rebellion, rebellion against what? Rebellion against the word of God, rebellion against the kingdom of God. Look at the world today. Look at the religions of the world today. Look at the apostasy in the land, amen. Look at the, how people are persecuting Christians, amen, right around the world. What is happening? Satanic, demonic forces are pressing down. The very heavens have been shaken, amen. Those demon powers are coming down, amen. And they're anointing people. The Bible says it's spiritual wickedness in high places, amen. They're enacting laws that are totally anti-Bible, anti-God, anti-Christ. Amen. What is happening, friend? The tears are being bound, amen. Getting ready to be burnt, amen. We see mystery babble on the mother of Halat, amen. The mother of Halat, amen. She's calling back all her children, all her daughters back are going back to mama i mean there's a great family reunion going on the tears are being bound together getting ready for the burning apostasy in the land revelation 13 2 and the beast which i saw was like unto a leopard and his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority and i saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wandered after the beast. The whole world wandered after this demonic power. Amen. They came under the demonic occult influence. Brainwashed. Amen. Satan had taken their thoughts captive. Satan had taken control of their minds. Satan had taken control of their actions. They couldn't think as, as normal people anymore. The Bible says those that a woman that loves in pleasure is dead while she lives. Friend, there's walking dead people walking around, amen. They may be physically alive, but they're spiritually dead. Amen. The tears are being bound up, amen. Getting ready to be burnt, amen. All those that reject the word, the Bible says if you receive not a love for the truth, God will send you a strong delusion that you believe a lie and, and be damned, amen. The word of the Lord says, buy the truth and sell it not. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Eve added to the word of God in the Garden of Eden. One word. Amen. She said, God said we mustn't touch it or eat of it lest we die. Just adding that word touch, friend, that was it. And what happened? She disobeyed the word of God. Then she spoke to Adam, and Adam disobeyed the word of God, amen. And friend, it wasn't eating apples, amen. That's a denominational error, amen. In Revelation 13, 8, you see, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names were not written in the book of life, of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So the Lamb is slain from the foundation of the world, amen. Why, amen? Because God is eternal. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows the beginning from the end. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Amen. There's nothing hidden from him. God knew what would happen in Eden. And before it even happened, he had already provided the perfect sacrifice. The lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Amen. That's why Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Because Abel knew by revelation that it was blood. It was not the eating of apples that took Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. But it was the corruption of the human blood. The mingling of animal blood with human blood, amen. That brought forth sin, sickness, and death in the human bloodstream, the human system, amen. Amen. The parable of the wheat and the tears. The children of the kingdom and the children of the wicked one. Abel was righteous. Cain was wicked. First John 3, 12. Not as Cain who slew his brother. Cain was of the wicked one, amen. God bless you, saints, amen. We'll talk some more, amen. Uh, God bless you, amen. We'll meet you again by God's grace. In Jesus' name. Stay blessed, amen.